In the last video, we saw a useful method of writing very large numbers in an easy to read way. For example, we could write the number five million as the number five followed by the word million. And of course the advantage is that that's easy to read. The disadvantage, however, one, that's hard to do arithmetic to. And also, when we start mixing in very small numbers, it, it gets hard to read again. So, like if I wanted to take five millionths, I need to think, okay, millionths, that's going to be one over a million. That's six zeros. That's six digits after the decimal point. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then a five in the millionths place. Right, that's still fairly hard to read. Another disadvantage is that they're hard to compare. Right, we might be thinking, which is bigger, 7 trillion or 92 billion? If we don't remember what order billion and trillion come in, we're going to be completely lost. At first glance, the one with the 92 in it looks bigger. Right, but in fact, of course, the 7 trillion is bigger. That's hard to see. And the last disadvantage is that we need names for all the groups then. Right. What if we have a number that needs to go beyond the hundred trillions place? Right. What if we have a really, really, really big number? Because of all those disadvantages, we want to find another way of writing very large and very small numbers. So that I can do arithmetic so that small numbers also work, so that the numbers are easy to compare, and finally, so I don't need to memorize a super long list of names for groups. And here's how we do it. Instead of naming the place value in words, we write it as a power of 10. So let me give you some simple examples. So here I find a 9 followed by 11 zeros. Right, so this place would be 10 to the 0. This place would be 10 to the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and so on. I find my 9 in the place that corresponds to 10 to the 11th. I write it as nine copies of 10 to the 11th. This is scientific notation. What is the form of scientific notation? The form it takes is a one digit number times 10 to a power. Now there's some language here that we want to learn and use. The one digit number is called the mantissa or the significand. I'm going to prefer this term significand for the one digit number in scientific notation, um, but you may encounter this word in other contexts. It refers to the same thing. And then this power is called the magnitude. So we have the seg so we have the significand times ten to the power of the magnitude. This works with very, very large numbers like the example above. It also works with very, very small numbers. Take this number for instance. Counting off the powers of ten going to the right, again, 
the ones place is just 10 to the 0. And then the places to the right of the decimal point are 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, and so on. That place that the 7 is in corresponds to 10 to the negative 7. So here we have the significand is 7, and the magnitude is negative 7. You know, now that we have this term for scientific notation, we need to have a word for this notation that we, we've been using all along that wasn't scientific notation. The notation we were using before is called decimal notation or standard notation. Again, I like decimal notation better, but standard notation is a little bit more common. So I'm going to try to use standard notation. Um, here. One other note to make. Right, you'll notice that both of these were positive. One had a positive magnitude and the other one had a ma negative magnitude. In general, if we have a positive magnitude, then we're dealing with a large number. So, specifically, a number that's at least 10. If we have a negative magnitude, then we're dealing with a small number, a number that's less than 1. Okay, but how do we express a negative number? Well, we just make the mantissa negative, right? Because, you know, that multiplication really does represent multiplication. Right, it's really important to remember that the multiplication in scientific notation really is just ordinary multiplication. Remember that 3 times 10 to the negative 4 means the same thing, whether we read it as scientific notation or whether we read it as arithmetic. As scientific notation, right, we count off the place values 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 4. And we put the 3 in the negative 4 place. As arithmetic, we have 3 times... 10 to the negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 digits after the decimal point. So that'll just be that same point zero, 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 0003. Right. You're basically just multiplying by 1, but leave the decimal point in the same place.